effectively and so on. So I'd like to introduce a, a tool that I think it does a couple of things. One is it's, it's, a, it's a really useful warm-up tool. It's a, one of those tools that gets people to know each other at least a little bit very quickly, even if they haven't met before. And secondly, it, is a, it reinforces one of the bedrock principles of creative work, which is uh, uh, the ability to diverge over many, many different ideas. Some of you may know this. It was taught the first time to me at one of these tool shares hosted by Jean Chatney by someone else that, that folks might know, um, <clears throat> Is uh, Ismet Mamnoon. Uh, and she called it, she referred to it as taboo. Very, very simple. The best tools seems to me are always simple. What I'm gonna ask you to do is uh, pick up a post-it note if you've got a post-it note or maybe just a piece of paper or a pad, doesn't matter. And I'm gonna ask you to write something down that will take you only a few moments to do so you don't need a ton of big paper. Post-it note would be perfect. I use this, as I said, as an introduction, as a, an introduction tool, an icebreaker tool, a warm-up tool, and also to make a particular point. So everybody got paper and pencil? Okay. Uh, what I'd like you to do, please, is write down the five things that you will almost always inevitably say about yourself when you're meeting a new person. So you're, perhaps you're at a party, perhaps it's a business situation, but almost always you will say these five things, or at least you know, some of those five things. And write them down, please. Do. Okay, good. So what we're going to do is going to, it, as it happens, we have a good number. We've got a, enough to break up into, into pairs. What you would do in a live situation is break people up into pairs, sometimes triplets. So we're going to break you up into, into rooms, and I'm going to give Nushin just a moment to set that up, because before we break up into the rooms, there's one final instruction I would like to give you all. So if you'll let me know, Nushin, when you're yeah, good. Okay. So we're going to put you in rooms. We're going to ask you to introduce each other to, to yourself, even if you know each other. Chances are you don't know, you know a ton about each other. Um, so there'll be, be introduction. Each person will have one and a half, one and a half minutes to speak. And I want you to speak for all of those one and a half minutes, please. So fill the space. And you'll be in a room very, very shortly. The only additional ground rule is that you may not, you may not say anything at all that you have written down on your sheet of paper, ready and go to your rooms, please. Or you'll be shipped to your rooms. Plus, um, what I've that. noticed is that in the context of a session, I can bring this same tool back over and over and over again. And you wouldn't believe how many times you can bring it back because people fall for it fall for it every single time. Might say, okay, what are the five values of this corporation? And people will write them down. So you throw those away. Now, what are the five values of the corporation? And see what people say. So this is something that can, you can come back to over and over and over again in almost any circumstance. And it takes, you know, uh, Izzy and I, I mentioned it was Izzy who, who taught it to me. Izzy and I sometimes talk about facilitating in your underwear, meaning, <laughs> that you don't have any, anything, no tools, no nothing. You don't need anything for this. All you need is, you know, you don't, if you don't have a piece of paper, they can just, you know, do it in their heads. So where might you then use a tool like this? Because that's the next step. I'm curious about what opportunities in your life, in your profession, there might be to use a tool like this. By uh, Jean. Uh, but there is a woman by the name of Jean Chatney who was the um, aunt of Kristen and a good friend of many, many people in a lot of different communities that are, you know, circulate around the, the, the creativity space. And Jean was a master at creating a tool share session. I, I, when I think of tool sharing, I think of Jean. She, uh, A, knew many, 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 many tools but she was also the kind of a facilitator who had this genius for uh, not facilitating, 
what she would do is she would set things up and sort of let them go, right? And and they and her sessions were always delightful, always educational, always wonderful. Uh, sadly, she's no longer with us. Uh, but um, just doing this as a tool share uh, in in some way, I think honors for me at least the the memory of Jean. So I like to think of her.